Hi, welcome back to the channel. Hi, yeah, how are you doing? Today we have another collaboration video with DK Goes Wild, which is Darren and Jess. Hills on Tour with Ricky and Beth. We have Made by Hedgehogs, which is John and Kirsty. Neander and Manx with Susie and Steve. And finally, we have a new channel on the collaboration. Yes, we which do. Is, which is The Wandering Wilds. <laughs> Debs and Mark. Mark and Debs. Or even Deb, posh Debs <laughs> and Mark. So, welcome aboard, you two. Oh, what's occurring? As we said, this is a collaboration video, and this month's collaboration is about... It's about videos, video equipment. It's about vlogging equipment. No, it's not. It's about video equipment. Because some people, not everybody vlogs. There's a difference between videoing and vlogging. You're splitting airs no love. I tell you what, what we'll say is it's about video stroke vlogging equipment. No, vlogging stroke video, so I'm first. Because you know I'm right. So it's about vlogging and video equipment. And the software we use to produce our videos. Yes. So this might be of interest to you of the equipment we use to create the best videos that we can, even though we're amateurs. My videos would be a lot better without reading in them. And you're a... Pardon? You can cut that out. So, well, yeah, perhaps we... not. They know you're a twat anyway. Rubbish, rubbish. I'm the one keeping this channel going. Anyway, enough of all the bloody you arguing with me, knowing that I'm right. Let's get on and show you how we started off and with what and how things moved along rather rapidly because I love my gadgets. Yes, David certainly loves his gadgets and basically choosing you two was easy storage. Free storage. Free storage. Forever. Forever and ever. Okay, a few, a few of you's, you out there can also access it but... But you don't have to because you can just make them private for your own use. Yes. And send links to other people, family, friends that you just want to show I from your holidays. That. So it's a great free storage package rather than using, you know, a Microsoft OneDrive, things like this, which cost you monthly. Yes, I do. YouTube's think about that. free. Good but tip. Don't tell YouTube. <laughs> Good tip. What? Yeah, so as I say, YouTube free storage, but you've got to upload your videos to YouTube. And YouTube do censor them. So all you naughty people making naughty videos. It won't work for you, sorry. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> we started off using a phone and then got a little gimbal for the phone to go on to stop all the shaking. But we we didn't actually produce anything from them. It was like trying and testing. We were too embarrassed and a bit nervous of actually putting it onto YouTube. We did have the gimbal and the phone but I use my charm on Rian to move on from that and just buy a, a little gadget first little gadget she wanted to do this YouTube bit so I got to choose the gadget and it was the DJI DJI Pocket 2 which we still use fantastic little camera especially in the night I find it's good it's good low light on automatic settings as it's called Pocket 2 it will fit in your pocket it is brilliant and easy to use, and especially in the night, uh, we still use it. However, I have had two little accidents with it. We've had loads of accidents. Most of the accidents you have with it is filming the clouds. <laughs> filming the sky or the ceiling or the light. You've got to be careful, look at it. Yeah. And unless I've got my glasses on, the screen Which on you it. Which one she's too vain. The screen is so small that sometimes you... Um, yeah, the gimbal goes up into the air. If you haven't got the glasses on, so you're not looking at where you're videoing. Same as any camera, really. But especially with that for Rian. And the second one was, we were down in Unity. We were at the Sun Stop pub. And there was a live band on in there, and I was walking around with it, and it's so small. And this little lady called me over, and she said, excuse me, but we've just, my friends and I have just been watching you walking around. And what is that you've got in your hand? They were from Rhonda, no, no. They weren't posh. Oh, and they... <laughs> Rhonda people are posh. Some. Showed her the DJI. And I, 
and she said, well, it's not one of them. I said, well, what actually did you think it was? And she said, oh, well, Mavis over there thought you were um, from the council and it was um, a sound detector. Gwyneth over there thought it was a mic. And she said, and I thought, she was a bit shy. I said, what did you think it was? She thought it was a vibrator. As if I'm well, going to walk around with a vibrator in my hand. But anyway, that's the story from the DJI. But a brilliant piece of kit. Yeah, fits in your handbag, lovely. <laughs> As does other battery-operated equipment, love. I'll ignore that. What? What about your phone? Not the mouth it comes out of, it's the mind it goes into. Yeah, so the DJI Pocket 2. Pink. There she is. Lovely little camera, as I say, just fits in your pocket, in your bag. They are great bits of kit. Little cover, cover holes, a lens, and things like that. And it's just turned on, and that is it. Hello, gives you a little nod as it turns on. Don't know if you can see that. Just turn it off. Look at that now. Turn it on. There's this little check, comes along and says, hello. <laughs> it? Yeah, so there, as you can see, this now, it'll, the gimbal will stay steady. It's great, as you can see, though, there's a little screen which Rian cannot see. It does the photos, videos, hyperlapse, slow motion. This is the Creator Combo pack we bought, which gives a little extension from the bottom, gives you a remote microphone, wireless microphone. Um, they are excellent, really good quality. Yeah, I enjoy using it. And it comes with a wide lens clip-on in the Creator Combo as well. But they are brilliant for the kit. Love it. And then just packs away in the pocket in your bag. Then good battery life, never overheating. They are great. And Absolutely. you've got at the bottom as well. Yes, yeah, so is... you've got a little uh, tripod that comes with them, so you can just put them on the table as well. Yeah, but very discreet. If you're worried about going around with a big vlogging camera when you first start in, these are discreet. You just hold them there, nobody knows what they are. So excellent. Although, very happy with that. Um, I use my charm again to wangle getting a GoPro Hero 10. David convinced me to get GoPro Hero 10 because you can use it underwater, you can use it on your bikes, on your bikes as an action, and, camera, as an action camera and stuff like that. And because it's got a big screen so Rian could see it. Yeah, so it does make a difference Yeah, that. and she fell for it all. <laughs> Marvellous, eh? Marvellous. I think we've used it in the pool once. You said that you were going to do a lot more exercise, and we never really use it for either. Have we? <laughs> no, for exercise. We've used it for a lot of our videos, though. It is a good camera. Yeah. We've got the mod. It's in the mod surround there with a the microphone. Although it comes with a little uh, tripod as such. This tripod is nine ninety nine, so it is a tripod, but it's also an extendable stick as well which is great so when you're videoing yourself from you're not in the face like a fisheye effect but they you're are good cameras it's brilliant they are great cameras great quality the only thing i'm a little bit cheesed off with it is the overheating in the sun next thing it shuts itself down and i know lots of friends who have them same problems they have but also what we bought is the remote control for it so when it's on extended on the selfie stick out there, the remote control's on you, so you can stop start recording as you want. Great little bit of kit, expensive, but What's gadgets. That? No, they're only about ten dollar. It's a great camera, great picture, great quality, solid. And I am better using that. Mm -hmm. The only thing I've got to check on that is, which I did last week, I think it was, or yesterday as well, was check in to make sure it's in the right settings before you start That's using with it. That's where everything that is, love. Yeah. Numerous times I have done some recording, some interviews and stuff like that and got back to the van or got back home after our trip away, gone to do some editing then from looking at our footage that we've oh, taken over some the weekend. landlady's interview which is all in hyperlapse. Which we can't use. Obviously. So, so yeah, I would just say um, 
not just for the GoPro, but for all your videos, just make sure that it's in the right settings. We were up in Hereford. In Hereford with a motorhomer.com. And I don't know if you know him, but Bruce Lauderdale, he had a 360, Insta360 uh, camera. He was doing all sorts with it. Yeah, he? amazing doing it flying. He had a long, long um, three meter rod. Was it rod yeah, pole? Three meter selfie, as such, basically, isn't it? And he was doing in and out of the yeah, doing flight, flight the throughs, things like this. Um, so, and also, I had noticed that uh, Extreme Motor Home Adventures they use a 360 camera when they're traveling on the. Uh, fantastic trips that they do have a look at them Brilliant. and they use it really well as well yeah yeah I excellent think. yeah and he does a fantastic job with it if you ask me um so we were away up in um Penketley castle and we were sitting there looking at them and rian i was dropping the subtle hints and then rian said well order one if you want one so he took me at my word and ordered it there and then, so it was delivered. And it, delivered straight to site, <laughs> <laughs> just in case you changed your mind. So it was there the next morning, brilliant. And it was the Insta360 ONE RS Twin Edition, which comes with a 4K boost lens and the 360 lens, interchangeable. I think a great little camera. That's what we're recording on now. Yeah. Um, I'll just put the GoPro on to show you. So there you go, that's what we are recording on now is the Inter 361. Hello, hello, make friends, don't get jealous. <laughs> yes, so that's what we use majority of the time now. And I will say that the Insta 360 is much better in relation to the battery. Battery life, no overheating. Um, yeah, people say, oh, we've got to change it about the 360. When you put the 360 lens, you've got to use a different software to, to actually edit that first and then put it into the software you use for your normal editing. But some of the clips you can get with the 360, I think is totally worthwhile. But even using it just as a, a Go, GoPro equivalent, I prefer the Insta360 with a 4K boost on. Uh, great cameras, no overheating and rugged as well, waterproof. So. To me, you can't beat them. I think it's the best camera we've got, to be honest. The only thing that I don't like about it, I'm all for it in relation to what David has said. It's brilliant. But going back to what I'm like when I'm filming... It hasn't got a big screen. <laughs> and if you're the go, um, GoPro, recording front ways... The GoPro has got front and back screen. Oh, goodness. Good Lord. As gassy as coffee is. Coffee? Well, blooming lager. Well, keeping it cool. Yeah. No, that is the only thing that I would say is negative, and I'm sure the next Insta360, that one is going to come out, isn't it? It's, it's going to come out that they've got a screen both sides, and that what does make a difference. Well, it makes a difference to me, personally, anyway, because I know that I'm recording. <laughs> yeah, uh, so that was the, the Insta360 ONE RS. Highly recommended as well. I'm just looking around now, see what else I can buy. You know what I mean, anything what? else? But, but. You know what I mean, but, anything else? Oh, love. If anything, you can buy me a new computer. But Why? That's an, we'll come on to that later. You don't know how to use the other one. Anyway. You know, you don't have to have all the equipment to make good videos. No. As it shows, we have all the gear with no idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's about right, actually. <laughs> if you are thinking about starting your videoing or vlogging, um, just use For your yourself. phone. Use your phone. Yeah. If you're using a phone, a good good investment is to get a little gimbal. They're only cheap. Get a gimbal, stick it on a gimbal. And it's a little bit more professional. Yes, it does. You're not like this. <laughs> yeah. Hey, calm down. So the next one that we're going to go on to is the drone. Yeah. Drone footage. Yes. Can't beat a bit of drone footage and a fantastic fun to fly as well. So I won't bore you with the details of how many David's had. However, we we recently bought the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Yes. Version, which my glamorous assistant will show you now. And there, there it is. is the little baby. Hello, little baby. 
<laughs> they're great fantastic drones um we did have the mini tour but as soon as this came out because i like the gadgets they upgraded to the mini three and sold the mini two <coughs> excuse me but what's a good little addition with the mini what are you doing <laughs> when, does a pro, when does a drone fly upside down <laughs> that the, it's on love the gimbal it oh, will it overload the gimbal see the little lights on the top yeah that means it's on all oh, right okay yeah, Why so when you turn it upside down the, 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 all you're doing is uh, see and this is why i buy so much gadgets because you always fucking break some <laughs> and laughs about it yeah i used this last week you don't know about that do you i do know about it i've seen it <laughs> anyway uh, yeah so got the mini three because of the pro version you can buy it and use uh use your phone control it things like that but the pro version comes with the controller which has its own built-in screen which is brilliant in sunlight as well do you want to say which again i married one <laughs> so there you go i can't stress how brilliant it is no it is it is good i've never used um a drone ever and you won't again especially mine so david didn't have it wasn't with me last weekend and a friend of mine give it to you. come here baby sorry sorry <laughs> and a friend of mine a female who does use the drone and her husband doesn't like using anything technical she showed me how to use it and that was it, it was okay it was quite straightforward and i think it's like anything else like a, a new phone new computer new camera it's all about learning and the more you use it the better that you get what do you mean you using it you had a new computer and you still don't know how to use it i give up <coughs> oh shit excuse me david man for god's sake gassy coffee man another major important thing on video so everybody says and i hope you can hear us okay is sound quality tips that we're always told is that you can make a fantastic video of something but if the sound quality is not there people won't watch it so got in touch with bruce we did didn't we Asked yeah, him about again. what yeah he, little uh he's like a little oracle of knowledge when it comes to photography and video and well, accessories it should be, because that's his job yeah, that's his job isn't it <laughs> apart from being a pain in the butt as well but no and he we wanted one for doing voiceover things like this and he recommended the road nt usb which is this little beast here and took him up and well listened to his advice and these are brilliant straightforward connection usb connection into your computer they're excellent and it's quite a chunk as well so comes on a stand you can take them off the stand so you can hang them and blah 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 god i didn't know that but how did you do that see this is it see the longer you have stuff the more you use it the more you get to know it i don't know what those are <laughs> that looks clever yeah, no, isn't it? so that is just for little voiceovers things like that brilliant brilliant little microphone um also we purchased um when we got the gopro wasn't it we wanted other oh, mics yes just uh wireless microphones so there's loads about i did a little bit of a you no, know, like you know, search on YouTube comparisons. I know we've got the Rode, uh, which is one of the top makes when it comes to wireless mics and normal microphones. But we settled on the Ro the Cinco, Cinco G2A2, which is, as you can see, it's a dual dual transmitter and rec receiver goes on your phone, and then you have a microphone each, uh, dual channel stereo mono. They do basically the same as the road equivalent i can't remember the name of the road ones now but these are uh, were about 50 pound cheaper uh and great quality we don't use them enough as we should no to be honest the other addition we bought which you're listening to now is a shotgun microphone which is attached to the insta 360 which is as you can see here it's built in suppression it does come with a dead cat as well What's a dead cat? A cat that's not breathing. <laughs> no, seriously now, what is a dead cat? You know what a dead cat is, love? It's the fluffy thing. Oh, that goes the wind dear, that's lovely, yeah. wind suppression. So as you can see, this is 
this, what is it, the Sennheiser MKA 200 shotgun mic. It's great. I don't like walking around with a big dead cut on the top. There's a dead cut for it. It is a little bit, uh, you know, obvious to everybody. So it's nice and neat. It has a, inside there, it has its own uh, wind suppression as such. The other thing is with the, that I find with the dead cat, I've learned something new today, <laughs> is that when I've got, when you've got that on, I think everybody around you, if you are filming, I mean, our confidence has been, has got a lot better filming yeah. out in public. But I think once you put that dead cat on it, all of a sudden you're seen as perhaps being professionals. Which we're far from. Which we're far from. Yeah, but people so, tend to look as well, ooh, what's that, what's that? Yes. So discreet, that's what the DJ Pocket 2 is so good at. It's mm. very discreet. Yes. Especially for starting out when... You know, now we don't care. People look, you don't care. But when you're starting out, it is a little bit nervy. And you are, ooh, shall I film here? So people are looking. Just get on with it. Enjoy yourself. Pretend I aren't there. Yeah, so those are the three microphones that we use, as well as the built-in mics on the cameras as well. But that's only half of the job, basically, of producing a video. Because the other half is editing the footage you've taken. So, and that all comes down to the software that you use, be it on PC or Mac, or even on your phone or your iPads. And again, a lot of people, the successful uh, YouTube channels, have used, just used their phone, not just for the footage, but also for the editing as well. Yeah, it's should... all totally up to you what you do. David uses PowerDirector, he's used it for quite some time. And you've upgraded it now. That was free for a while, wasn't it? Yeah, so it's like a Power Director 365. I enjoy it. One of the best you can get is DaVinci. Even the free edition is, and is probably the best software out there. But it does take some learning. And I just tried to download DaVinci onto my computer, and unfortunately, eh, the graphics card isn't good enough to run it. So. I've put her onto another one now, I don't know what it's like, but saves buying a new computer for her when I can spend more on my gadgets. The software that I use is called Mavavi. Is it called? Is it Mavavi? You've been using it for how long? Was I know, it? but I can't pronounce it. Is it Mavavi? Mavavi Suite 2022. And I find that fine. I don't do as much editing as David, but yeah, I try to keep my hand in. It's cheaper, cheaper. But there's loads of free ones. Try them out. If you're, you know, if you're new to it, try them out. Everybody will have their own preferences. I think that's everything now that we've we wanted to talk about, about vlogging, a stroke, a video and equipment. I'm glad you got it in the right way. But what I will say is that, and I've got to remind myself all the time, or David reminds me all the time, is once you pick up that camera or that phone and you're going to do some footage, make sure that it's in the right setting before yeah. you start. And there's nothing worse than getting home and then realise that you've put in time lapse, or you can't hear the sound, or there's a disturbance in the sound, yeah. or you, or you videoed the Just ceiling, yeah. or the sky. Uh, we're learning all the time. Hopefully, we can all get better at it. And for you watching us, you can enjoy it better as well. So that's a wrap on these videos. Yeah. So please remember to have a look at the other YouTubers. We're in collaboration with us, which is DK Goes Wild, uh, Hills on Tour, Maybe Hedgehogs, Meandering Max, and The Wandering Wilds. Yes, especially The Wandering Wilds because they, they are, are new, new to, to the our club. Our and club. we only met them in Van Life Festival. They're lovely. She's very posh. <laughs> she they takes will... a plane to go shopping. <laughs> That's another story. Yes. And if you have enjoyed this video, then please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. It is free. And please ring that notification bell to be notified of any future videos that we have. So if you have enjoyed and you're watching and you haven't subscribed, well, you can just... Oh, what's occurring? <laughs>